I'm gonna make this quick. Do a quick little unboxing of something that I ordered from Sweetwater. I already opened the overall box. I mean, they give you this sweet little magazine right here. Big catalog, I should say. I mean, probably anything you could imagine could be found in this book. Didn't ask for it. That's what the website's for, but it's cool. Always good to see things in print. But look at this. They send you a sweet thank you package just for ordering something from them. And, uh, Honestly, when you order from them, someone's going to give you a call, like maybe 30 minutes after you place your order, just to let you know that they pa package it up and it's on its way out there. So anyway, here is the item in question here. Uh, I'm holding the phone in my hand, so uh, yeah, excuse me for all the bad angles and whatnot. And maybe I can give a little product review later on. All right. So I need something to open it with. Good job. Car don't feel me now. Come on. There we go. All right. So, if you don't know, now you see. It's a focus right scarlet. 2i2. What that stands for is 2 in, 2 out. 2 inputs, 2 outputs. There we go. Been waiting for this for so long. I'll be making music till the sun comes up. Maybe. There's a box right here. It's a pretty little thing. Side action. The front action. And all the countries and all that stuff. Oh, a little bit of front and back at the same time. You wish you were that talented. <laughs> anyway. Put it open this bad boy up. And a little information package right here. Telling you how to uh, get down with the get down. And the registration and whatnot. Alright, cool. State safety instructions. Where's the Spanish? Might be in French. All right, here we go. There is the device. It's a pretty sturdy box. There we go, there's the front. I'm taking out this package in though here soon. And it also comes with the, the USB cord. Yay. All right. It's one headed stuff, uh, isn't easy. Not gonna lie, it's not easy. But when you're a one man crew, one man in a world where one man does it all, things are perfect. Here we go. All right. Nice anodized aluminum finish. Oh my gosh. Not only does it look pretty, but it actually feels very smooth and great. All right. Here she is in all her glory right here. So you can look the microphone in right there. You make sure it's a line or if it's an instrument, you're plugging a guitar directly in there. There's the other one. And the gains for both inputs. Overall monitor volume. Excuse me, sorry, with the knob right here. Uh, I can... Does this... Hmm, I for... Man, through my research, I forgot. There's a 48-volt power connection right there. So I'm wondering if it actually can be the phantom power for the microphone itself, because I have one for my Behringer C1 mic, but I might be able to do away and not use that. And then this knob over here, a little tiny guy in the corner, that's uh, when you plug your headphones in, that's to control the volume for your headphones. And here we go. Well, going to the back side. I love it when you pair your back side for me. There's a USB connector. Oh, it's 2.0. And there are the two slots for your monitors, which I don't yet have for the outputs, but uh, we'll make that happen. We shall make that happen. That's the next piece of equipment I'm... We're going to get. There she is. 
And here's the setup as it stands. Pop filter. Ranger C1 and the shock mount. Little desktop stand action. Here's the old guy. And we're going to replace you here. The Lexicon Alpha. Not going to do... I was going to hold it. It's going to be a backup. And here's my uh, little Behringer Ghost Power action right here. My Phantom Power. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do a setup video. Maybe I'll do a review video later. Anyway, I'm out.